Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check a 5.8 GHz video receiver that features an HDMI output. In this video I'm going to go over its features and show you how it works and then head outdoors and compare it side by side with the Ishin ROTG01 OTG video receiver. In terms of features this video receiver supports 48 channels. On the top you can find a single SMA antenna connector so it doesn't feature a diversity receiver. On the front you can find two buttons, one for the channel and one for the band, and over here a small screen that is going to indicate them. On the bottom of the device you can find a DC input, next to it it's written 12 volts, and on the packaging it's written that the working voltage is between 6 to 24 volts, however I can tell you that I only tested it with 7 and 12 volts and both worked fine, and I didn't test it with higher voltage than that, and probably it's best anyway to stick to 12 volts. Next to the DC input you can find a small switch. When it's switched to the left the device is going to output at 1080p and if you're going to switch it to the right it's going to switch to 720p. Next to the switch we can find the most important feature of this device which is a mini HDMI port and next to it a 2.5mm audio video jack. Inside its box along with the receiver we're getting a simple antenna with an RPSMA antenna connector. A 2.5mm to audio video RCA cable and a 1m long DC to JST cable. In terms of dimensions this device weighs 62.1 grams not including an antenna and its outer dimensions are 78.2 by 50 by 15mm. Powering up the receiver is done by simply plugging the battery to the JST connector of course when the DC plug is connected. Then the device is going to power up and on the screen over here, which is not so readable, especially in daylight, you're going to see two digits. The left one is going to indicate the band, and the right one the channel. Short pressing the channel button is going to switch between all the eight available channels, and short pressing the frequency button is going to switch between the six available bands. This device has a power of memory, which means that if you are going to set it, for example, to band number 5 and channel number 3, and then you're going to power it off, the next time you're going to power it on, it's going to be set to the same frequency. Unlike the ROTG01 OTG receiver, it doesn't feature auto-scan, so you'll have to set the frequency manually. Now I've got two screens connected to the receiver, one to the HDMI port, and the second one to the AV out. After plugging in a quadcopter, And powering up the receiver. You can see that we're seeing the video on both screens, so the AV out can work simultaneously with the HDMI. Now I'm going to compare the latency between the HDMI and the AV out. It's not going to be 100% accurate since I'm not using the same screen, but still I think it's going to give us a pretty good indication of the difference between both ports. The video was shot at 240 frames per second, which means that every frame represents about 4 milliseconds. At this point you can see that the room is completely dark, however we can still see the light on the screen because of the latency. Just as a reminder, this is the HDMI screen and this one is connected to the AV out. So at this point, after 5 frames, this screen is completely dark, which means that the latency of the AV out is about 20 milliseconds. And after 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 frames, this screen is dark as well. So the difference between the AV out to the HDMI out is about 20 milliseconds. So the AV out has a latency of about 20 milliseconds, and the HDMI out has a latency of about 40 milliseconds. So overall, if you're looking for a solution to use your HDMI enabled goggles for FPV or you would like to play the live FPV footage on a big screen, the RCHD receiver is definitely a very good option. And since you can switch between 1080p to 720p, you can also use it with the Viewfind Plus wearable display that can only work with 720p. The main downsides of this receiver is that first of all, it doesn't feature auto scan and also it doesn't have a built-in DVR but priced at around $30, you can't expect it to do everything. The next thing I've done is to head outdoors and compare the RCHD receiver with the Ishin ROTG01, and in order to do that, I used the same Elmway Cloverleaf antennas, and I connected the RCHD receiver to this FXT external DVR, 
and that's why you're going to see the quality of the recorded video is much better than the one that was recorded with the RFTG1 but overall I can still tell you that in my opinion the RCHD receiver performed a little bit better than the RTG01. Just stating the obvious in case if it wasn't clear, even though the RCHD receiver has a 1080p HDMI output, the video is going to be upscaled and the quality is not going to be much better than your regular FPB receiver. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, as always if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments section down below, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.